was a very quick Moskov, by the way. Mm -hmm. That was the game plan since the very first pick. They understood it's Moskov. Moskov is going to be the hero that could potentially. Now, this is this is going to be really, really interesting, right? The point in time, both sides not finding too many advantages in the lane. However, the mid lane is kind of chunked here. Apex 47. Oh, tries it, forces the purify out of Reaper, and here comes Tansy straight away. This should have been expected. The second item not going to do much damage. Apex 47 still has away the dragon. Both sides positioning for each other. Aliens thinking about jumping in. Flickers in straight away with the Wombo combo with the RW web. It's beautiful. Tansy starts to chunk them out, but Apex 47 goes down in trade for the Eustinian neutral objective secured. Point 3k ahead. Dazzling, you feel invincible at this point. Oh, here he goes. Goes straight for you, Stidia dies instantaneously after two dashes. I mean, great implosion, but I don't think Reaper has enough to deal with it just yet. Didn't have a passive in the game, so Encelia is being shut down by all angles. Yep, and now here comes the way of the dragon, knowing that Lovely has nothing else. Quickly flickers out just before the penalty zone. Eusidian is going to try, but doesn't have the base self. Electrifying Beat's gonna come out and main with a glorious pathway to try and disengage his buddies here. Penalty zone from a Reaper. Tries his best. Wait, SOD comes through. Don't in the middle of the fight. Gets the kill and trades Apex 47. Means that Sunshine has more space to play, but so far, the knockup. Oh, even the implosion. RWN's gonna come out real quick here. Penalties on the two. The back line's in trouble. Apex 47 walks up to zone them away as 10Z is doing good amounts of damage. Well done as Sunshine is able to find a kill of his own. Two for nothing good. in favor. Of, oh my goodness. And the purple buff above going to be denied away. Actually, wait, hold on. Justinian had to use his retribution here as well. So I think at this point, they're just going to back off three level different. Has been found out by TNZ. Okay, Sacred Hammer comes through. Penalty zone hits two onto the back line. Don't force to actually step away. Apex 47 gets a kick off the lovely side. Implosion onto four, but it's a little too late. And now RWM to find another mega kill coming up from 10Z's side as the tier two collapses on the bottom. 1.7k difference, 1.5k difference, 1.8k difference. Everyone is minimum 1k ahead from their counterpart. Oh, Rosa might be in some trouble here. Out of position, finally. They do. Oh, no, Lovely is the one who ends up no. getting the kill. Oh, man. That's not what you want to see at this point of the game. Oh, that hurts a little bit. That hurts on the inside. I mean, it's like, there's an argument. At, someone just secured a kill, but... Also true. Oh, but that kill was was secured. We're sure, we're sure Rosa's going to die. Yeah, and Don't was nearby as well. So, I mean, now the turtle going to be threatened here, but Encilio just don't have the items so far. Apex 47 going to go over the way of the dragon. As the glorious pass, right? Penalty zone almost connecting. You're sitting and able to get on out of there, but the RWM has a response from Reaper's side. Alien has plenty of DR. Purify this as we don't get to see the murder of Reaper. Sin, Sunshine, and TNT find their own individual kills. With two more kills if it's 8.8, .8 and, and never mind. I'll do the math later, but for now, with the Lord pushing on their side. They're going to be able to get the barriers down. The shielding is gone. And if they can get an inhibitor, they can pretty much set up for a checkmate angle. Unless Alien wants to get a little bold and try for something, but I don't think it's worth it. Um, you say it's not worth it, Gideon. But when you say that, the more it feels like it's going to happen. It's going to happen. <laughs> it's like... You think it's a bad idea, and that's why I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, this might just uh, this might just be it. RWN as well as the glorious pathway. Sunshine losing 40% of his HP. They walk away. Deterrence being shown by Incilio. Second opportunity here as the next wave does start to collapse on that top side. They're gonna try their best because Lovely can't really walk up. Penalty zone onto two so far, and they jump off those Jinkundos. Good. Tansy and Sunshine take out Maniac, and now the inhibitor falls. This is not looking great as the checkmate angle boxes have been ticked. 10 minutes in the game, and they want mid. They want to continue oh. the pressure. They know Encelio can't fight back. Yeah, they don't have it. Oh, Reaper losing 50% of his HP. Don't basically want to attack. It's pretty much 20%. Implosion actually coming through. Sunshine ends up making a mistake and dies. And now with at least the Blade of Tempest, he's trying to make a play for himself. Apex 47 should be okay. He still has that flicker. SOD does not connect. That could have been a turnaround for Encelio. I mean, he doesn't have an opportunity where this is like the, the, the same thing we talk about in game number two of Ulfenar. Like, you can get a kill for sure, but you yourself will die. So, late, but 
I feel like this is an end angle. Here we go. Apex 27 using the conceal early on. TNC's gonna hide on that wall for now. Hops off of it, waiting for a position, waiting for an angle. Okay, the knockback is down. Apex 27 finds an angle. Go for the kick on towards the zero of all targets. They find Sunshine. Takes out Lovely, no problem. RWM end response. Tensi takes out Reaper. And now they're looking for the end. Tensi too strong. Yusinian trying his best to clear the waves. And the heroes don't try. It's too late. He takes out Sunshine, but Tensi shuts him down. That's going to be Ulfin uh, taking the game. Three and oh to qualify for the Swiss stage. Ladies and gentlemen, this will be the opponents of Blood Thirsty Kings in the Swiss round. Ulfinar just went to the decider match and got a 3-0 victory against Encilio. Congratulations, but the battle is not over.